It's a hypothetical way of thinking about decelerating knee osteoarthritis. So we're going to think firstly, when we're talking now from about decelerating or getting into this mindset of what can we do, what can we implement to reduce the likelihood of people's knee osteoarthritis progression of this systems model, which was proposed by Andriaki in 2015 and colleague, uh, Andriaki and colleagues, sorry, in 2015. And it's a really, really nice uh, model and just a thought process to go through when we're seeing either someone who's high risk or someone who's got some early, maybe some evident osteoarthritis. So this describes the idea of thinking of our mechanical load or our normal activity going through these three stages. So we've got biological factors. Um, so this will be systemic inflammation or local inflammation in the joint. So if you twisted your knee, swells up, you get this effusion or hemarthrosis, this will alter the biology. It goes through the next layer, which is the functional biomechanics. So the biomechanical input is anything that's leading to stimuli going to the, the cells, the tissues of the joint. So this is proximal control, muscle control around the knee, gait pattern, what's kind of what's impacting that microenvironment of the knee. And then lastly, through joint structure. And so if, if this gets altered, so when it comes to knee joint preservation, uh, alignment and structure of the joint really um, is a, a big proponent.